Hello everyone, welcome to AMX. This channel is all about the metaverse experience. My avatar name is AllMX and AllMX is my digital twin. So in this video, I will walk you through with the settings of Oculus Quest 2. In front of me, we have here the apps button, the sharing, which you can access the recording also, and the people, the store, and the explore have the profile here and the notification and also this is the quick settings so let's press that over there is the setting okay the there are some items under the settings here device guardian storage notification application accessibility accounts virtual reality security and experimental feature now let's see under device we have here the hands and control. Okay, under hands and controllers, we have the switch Oculus and menu buttons. Let's see this. Okay, I turn it on. Then hand tracking, use your hands as controllers. So to support this feature, we analyze your hands to estimate your hand size and how they move and so on. So let's see. Okay, I turn it on and then as you can see, I will now uh, put this uh, controller somewhere. Then let's see the hands. All right, let's see. The main instruction here is to pinch with your thumb and index finger to select menu items, apps, and more. As you can see, I continue there. Okay. Continue. Okay. Then... Pins and hold to scroll. Practice scrolling. There's a practice scrolling here. Let's see. Ah, as you can see, it's actually good. So I'm now using my hands to scroll and go up there. See? Okay. So this is how it goes. You scroll the tiles in any direction. As you can see, I'm moving it. Then you can press continue okay now use the oculus buttons uh, okay i'm looking at my palm and i level then hold your thumb look at your palm and i level then hold your thumb and index finger together until the oculus icon uh, fills up okay then then let's see okay um I'm back now here. I will use my hands now. So let's see. Quick setting. I'll come back to quick setting now. All right. So that is the hands, hand tracking and auto switch between hands and controller. Long press or hold button to pause. And uh, there is a vibration intensity here for the controllers. You can see I can move low and high high and low okay that is under the hands and controller now i will uh, turn off my hands controller i will use the actual controller now i'm using again the uh, controllers i just showed you the uh, function of how to use your hand as a controller now i will go to setting Okay, we are done with the with the with the device. So let's see the guardian. Press the guardian here, the second item, and the first one is adjust guardian. So press that. Okay, you see, uh, as you can see here in the floor. All right, say uh, I will put here confirm floor level, and then I will just put here confirm. Then define uh, play area. So I will uh, define my play area here. Okay, here, here. Okay, I define my play area, then continue. Confirm guardian boundary. As you can see, there's, there's a boundary here. All right, the boundary, then. I can confirm now 
the set floor is okay. Right, the boundary color. As you can see, there is a. If you want to change the color of your guardian boundary, you may do so by clicking this uh, uh, menu down. Okay, there are there are three colors: yellow, purple, and blue. So I will go for blue, and then double tap for double tap for pass through. So it means that uh, if you want to pass through your boundary, you you may do so by enabling this button. Okay, you see enable double tap to pass through here. So you can double tap the left and right of your headset to turn on pass through and see your physical environment. This is very helpful, especially when you have kids uh, at home or in your uh, play space area. Okay, I will put cancel. Then guardian history, you may clear it. Okay, room scale, glanceable boundary. So let's see how it works. It says here looking down at an angle will make your guardian boundary appear on the floor so you can see where you are in your play area. Okay, I turn it on. Then boundary sensitivity. It's either simple or advanced. And the last item under the guardian is whether you want to set it as low or high. Okay, the indicator. Then let's go to storage. All right, the storage, you can see device storage, the uh, gigabytes of your unit or Oculus Quest 2. And you can manage the storage, this the application and the size, notification. So this is the famous one, do not disturb, mute all notification in VR, you can activate it there. And the notification sound, play a sound when you receive a new notification, it's on. And then phone notifications, uh, you, can, you may configure how your phone notifies you. After that, we have the application. And then after that, we have the accessibility. We have here the uh, vision, this is the color correction. Let's see what's in there. Okay, apply a display filter to make color easier to distinguish. Okay, this is uh, up to you. Then text size. You can click here the drop down menu and you see you have small, medium, large, extra large, and largest. And uh, once you uh, choose one of them, the the uh, unit will uh, or Oculus Quest Two will restart. So mobility, the controller vibration intensity. Let's see if it's either low or high. Okay, in the middle. Switch Oculus menu buttons. So move the Oculus button to your left hand and controller. So it's actually on. After that, we have the accounts. Okay, it's virtual environment. So we have this set the default home environment to see in VR when using the universal menu and browsing app. We have here space station Oculus, Cyber City, and so on. So what is active now is the bubbles Oculus. So you can see the, our surrounding. You can see some bubbles there. It looks like um, circles that are floating the space and yeah because bubbles is active here oh, cannot deactivate it here but that is the one I right, with we click one for example install studio oculus okay we have to have the internet connection now I don't have internet connection so that's it for virtual environment and we have here the security so unlock pattern require unlock pattern for headset and password autofill. After security, we have environmental features. And keep in mind, experimental features may stop working at any time. So please enable these features with caution.